Hello everybody. Today we're going to examine how to edit or customize the ECG ladder diagrams created by the app EP Diagram. If you haven't looked at the video on EP Diagram Basics, you probably should look at that first and I'll link it below. This video assumes you know how to make and move marks on the diagram. I'm going to go through all the customizations that can be used to make your diagrams look better and that make it easier to generate a diagram. I'm using the Mac version of EP Diagram, but all these edits are exactly the same on the iPad version too. You notice that I have a normal ECG in the top panel. I just put it there so we have something to move around, but I'll be ignoring this ECG when making the marks in this diagram. In the latter portion of the diagram, I've already made several marks. I have automatic impulse generation and automatic block turned on in the preferences. There's a video on setting preferences that I've already uploaded that I'll link below. At this point, the diagram is not calibrated. We will need to calibrate it later since some of the editing features do require calibration. I've made the marks fairly thick to make sure they're easy to see. The first step in editing a diagram is to enter edit mode. And we do this by clicking or tapping the edit button on the bottom of the window. Once we're in edit mode, we need to select which marks are going to be affected by our editing. We can do this by tapping on marks. If we tap a mark, we select it. Selected marks turn blue. If we tap again, we unselect the mark. We can also select marks by dragging over a region. Tap again to unselect these marks. We can select all the marks in a region by tapping a region and unselect the region the same way. There are also select all buttons and clear selection buttons in the bottom toolbar. When done editing, just select the done button. Let's go back to edit mode. Now let's select a mark. After marks are selected, you can bring up the edit menu. I'm using a trackpad, so I can do this by using a two finger click on the pad. If you have a mouse, you might have to click the right mouse button. On an iPad, you would do a long press to bring up the menu. We'll be going over each option of this menu in this video. Let's start with the style option. This is pretty straightforward. You can change the style of the selected marks from solid to dashed to dotted and back to solid. The next option is called emphasis. Let's select a different mark. If you set the emphasis to bold, the mark becomes a little bit more prominent. Next, we'll show how to override the impulse origin of individual or groups of marks. Let's say we want to override the automatic impulse origin marker on this mark in the ventricular region. Let's select it. As you can see, we can change the uh, location of the impulse origin manually. Let's set it at distal. And let's go back and just turn it off altogether. In a similar fashion, we can manually edit block symbols. Let's get rid of the block symbol on this mark in the AV region. Okay, let's now add some labels to our marks. First, 
Let's check our app preferences to make sure the show mark labels preference is turned on, and it is. Now let's select our marks in the atrial region. And let's say that this patient has a pacemaker and that these are atrial sensing marks. Notice that you can add labels to various positions. Let's add the label to the proximal position. And let's just write a sense and save it. Now you can see our labels are applied to the marks. To clear these labels, let's select the region again, go to label, proximal, and let's just add a blank label and they're gone. Okay, I made a slight change to our diagram. Sometimes when you move marks around and the marks are linked together, you end up with a slanted mark like this. You really want this mark to be straight up and down. Use the straighten mark edit option to do this. Now you can see I've changed the diagram further. I have two slanted marks in the AV region, but I really wanted to make these marks to have the same slant. I can use the slant marks edit option to accomplish this. Let's select the marks. Choose slant marks and let's slant to the proximal pivot point. Now you see the marks are straight, but I can use this slider to give them the same slant, whatever slant I want. And there we go. Note that with all these changes, you can undo and redo them as needed. So don't be afraid to try out these edit options. Well, I've changed the diagram a little bit more and I have good angles on these marks in the AV region, but I really would like them to have the same length. So let's select the region and select adjust mark ends. Now we can either preserve the location of the terminus of the mark. Let's try that first. Here you can see the end of the mark doesn't change position, but the angle changes. So let's undo that. We don't want that. Let's try it again just mark ends and just trim the mark ends. Now we get the same angle and the same length. So that's good. Now let's suppose our ladder is looking good but it's not lined up exactly with our ECG. We could move individual marks to fix this but that's tedious. In edit mode we can move groups of marks. Let's select the A and AV regions and then select Move Marks. Now we can drag these marks around as desired. For the next several options, we need to calibrate the diagram first. If you don't do that, you will get an error message saying the diagram is not calibrated. Here I've calibrated the diagram and measurements in milliseconds are shown. If you calibrate and don't see measurements, make sure show intervals is set in the app preferences. Okay, I've made some changes to the diagram. I have four marks in the atrial region. I really want them to be the same cycle length, say 1000 milliseconds. So let's do that by using the Adjust Cycle Length menu item. Oh, 
I'm going to skip around here a little bit as the options get more complicated. The next edit option I'll show is called repeat cycle length. It does just that, repeating a cycle length either before, after, or in both directions in a diagram. So let's repeat after this cycle length of a thousand milliseconds. We've created a lot of marks and though they can be deleted individually, I think it's time to show how to delete multiple marks at once. Just select them and then use the delete edit menu item. Okay, let's look at the copy and paste option. Here I've created a nice impulse traveling through the AV node with the AV nodal conduction indicated by a dashed mark. I like to repeat this pattern. So I can select the pattern and then select the copy and paste option. Now I can click anywhere I want and repeat this pattern. Now I've left out some of the more advanced options including creating rhythms, creating pacemaker periods, and repeating patterns, but I'll cover them in the next video. Thanks for watching.